Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. The last few video for learning React Native with TypeScript, we were learning React Navigation in React Native with TypeScript. In past videos, we have learned uh, how can we use a stack navigation, how we can use bottom tab navigation and we also learned in the last video how we can use drawer so in this example you see we we are using drawer here so if i click here and i click on the screen one so the drawer is screen working so in this video i am going to mix all these things uh, that means i want to use the nested navigation concept in react native with typescript so to understand this nested navigator i want to make it so easy to understand that here i am using already the drawer you see that drawer screen i am using here that I was using in the previous video also. If you don't know Drover, please watch my previous video also. And you have to watch previous all the videos about React Navigation to understand this concept. Because it's a nested navigation concept, it, sh it should be clear after learning all the previous concepts. So here is a Drover and here I have a stack navigation component that I used in my previous video. And I also have bottom tab navigation component that I use in my bottom navigation video. So all these three components I will merge in a single application that is called nested navigation concept. So you see that we have here first of all drawer and by default in drawer this home screen is my default screen that will display the first screen of my drawer navigation. So this is my drawer and here this home screen all is I just set here a home screen I say uh, home one save this. So this home screen is my default screen remember that so first screen is home second is a screen one third is screen two so in drawer navigation if i click on drawer by default i am using here three screens you can use more also but in example i am using three and uh, by default is home screen so now i want to merge here the bottom tab navigation in drawer navigation remember that i already have bottom tab navigation this is which I used in my previous video. So that navigation component I want to merge in drawer first of all. So for that the name of this is tab screen dot tsx. So here I want to create this as a component. So you see I create here drawer as my screen. So I say drawer dot screen. Here I say name. Name of the screen is tab screen. Remember that this tab screen I am using and the component is I say tab screen so tab screen i am using so that is under the bottom tab navigation this one i am using this and i close this like this way and save this and you see that i have now added this tab navigation this one in my drawer and i will make this tab navigation as my home screen remember that so i say here tab screen like this way save this and i need to add tab screen I have already added here tab screen but if it's give some warning suppose I remove all these things for example save this so it will give the error message like this way and like this way also that is not inserted because we are using the type script so here I need to define this tab screen also so I say tab screen I am using and I save this tab screen so this is my home screen now screen s c r spelling mistake that's why we have the error right now so i just make it the home screen now i have to reload this application so i say r and it will reload and you will see that i will have the tab screen bottom tab screen in drawer screen right now so you see that it is the front screen is my tab screen but i have tab screen also here and tab screen is my home screen and the front application is a drawer so drawer will run first because i am using app under the app component i am using drawer so first of all drawer component will run under the drawer i use my tab navigation bottom tab navigation i made this screen as my this component as my home component so this tab navigation which i used in previous video all the screen will come here you see all tabs are coming i click here so screen one 
screen two you see every coding i did in my tab navigation so tab navigation is working from here without any problem you see so that means we have added the tab navigation bottom tab navigation under the drawer that is the example of nested navigation now i add stack navigation also so i will make this home component you see this home component here i have home component under the bottom tab navigation and this is called home screen so i am using all screen all screen is my component that i used for stack navigation so under this i also have home screen so i am using this all screen also and i will make this whole screen as a home screen for bottom tab navigation remember that this bottom tab navigation i am going to use under this tab this stack navigation component i am going to insert under the tab screen component because i want to make it home of this so for that what i did i just this home is not required right now so in place of in place of this home screen i will use my home screen is called all screen so here in this component in place of home screen i take all screen component like this way remember that and name i give in home no problem at all and we have a all screen in place of home screen and that is also inserted so i make it like this way comment and here i use all screen also i say all screen and i save this so this all screen i added here because it's a type script so under this type script i am deciding the type of this and you see after saving this now you see i have added the nested navigation screen you see in place of this i have the home screen as my stack screen and remember that here that i need to uh, refresh also i just reload this once again to make it more workable now i have used here three types of screens you see that here we have a tab screen and we have a home also right now so what i do here i need to disable the header because two headers are coming here so uh, this is my uh, header under tab screen so i am using all screen so under the all screen also i need to disable this so i say header shown header shown to false so save this so this header i just remove so i need to reload once again i say r problem is that i am using this false to the screen one i have to use use this as a indivisible so i cut it here and for the whole screen i have to take here a screen option under the screen options here i need to define this that's why it's showing again and again header you see the header is gone now so i save and reformat it save this you see now understand once again in the app component i use drawer screen because i'm using drawer as a my main screen under the drawer i use tab this tab navigation these tabs are coming and they are working perfectly as a nested component under the drawer now in the tab screen i'm using stack navigation as my home screen so i use this and all the screens under this stack navigation is here so i click to go to screen 1 so under this i will go to screen 2 then go to screen 2 you see i go to screen 2 and i click to go back it will reach to the home screen so th that means drawer is also working tab is also working and stack is also working all types of navigation systems are working in a single application that we called nested navigation remember that individually we create all the components so it's very easy to manage so under the all screen i can manage stack navigation under the tab screen i can manage tab components so tab screens and under the drawer i can manage drawer screens all individual i can manage if there is a some bug or some error comes and definitely all are working under each other you see tab is also working no problem at all from the home we have a stack navigation also it is also working we can use a stack navigation under these tab also no problem at all just for demo purpose i am showing here that i have a drawer under the drawer as a home screen i am using tab screen so tab screen i have but if you don't want to use tab you may have other screen also like this so i have a home screen also different from the drawer we have a tab screen so i will have tabs 
under the tab screens you see we have indivisible tab screens and from the home of this tab i have a stack navigation so all the screens all types of navigation i am using under this just for your example if you have watched my previous videos stack navigation tab navigation and drawer navigation then you can understand it easily because i merge all these three navigation in a single one that concept is called nested navigation in react native so i have given you an example under react native with typescript if you learn it please if you learn this if you understand the nested navigation concept and you like this video please do subscribe thank you for watching this video Thank you.